Hello everyone. Today in this video we will discuss about string matching. There are certain algorithm for the string matching. Among that we will discuss new string matching algorithm. So let us start our today's video on new string matching algorithm. First of all, let us have outline of our today's video. First, we will discuss about what is string matching is. Then we will discuss about different algorithm for string matching. Among these different algorithm, today in this video we will discuss new string matching algorithm. Then we will discuss one example of new string matching algorithm. Then we'll discuss pseudocode of new string matching and at the end we'll discuss about time complexity of new string matching algorithm. This new string matching algorithm is very classic, very basic and brute force algorithm that we'll discuss in detail in our today's video. So let's start our today's video. First of all, what is string matching is? Suppose capital T is a large string and capital P is a substring. In simple term, we want to find all the occurrences of some string P in a large string T. It means that, for example, we have one string capital T and this string is a large string. Another string that is a pattern has a few number of characters and we need to identify whether this pattern is available in this large string or not. There may be a multiple occurrence of a pattern inside the string and we have to identify all the occurrence of pattern inside our large string capital T. So we have a certain algorithm to find whether the string is available in this uh, large string or not. If multiple occurrence of the same pattern is available then we can have a uh, index number of every occurrence. So let us discuss different algorithm. There are number of algorithm for the string matching. First one that is a very classic and brute force algorithm that is a new string matching algorithm. Second the rabin carp algorithm. Third string matching with finite automata and fourth KMP algorithm. In our today's video we will discuss our first classic algorithm that is the brute force algorithm and this algorithm is known as new string matching algorithm. So as per the concept of a new string matching algorithm, match pattern string against input string character by character. When there is a mismatch, shift the whole input string down by one character in relation to the pattern string and start again at the beginning. So just take one example so that you can easily understand the concept of new string matching. Suppose we have a one large text capital T and these all are the different character of our capital T string. And another string that is capital P, this capital P is known as pattern string which has a three character X, Y, Z. Now our basic uh, concept is we have to match this string x, y, z or we can say we have to match pattern with all the character of our uh, large text capital T and we have to identify whether this pattern is available in this string or not. Once we get pattern inside the text capital T then we have to return index number. This large string capital T may have multiple occurrence of the pattern capital P and for every occurrence we have to return index number. So let us uh, write this both the string with index number. This is our first string that is capital T and it is a large string. We have written with this index number because we have stored this whole string inside one array and array starting from the zero. So total 19 characters are there in our large string capital T and we are starting from 0 to 18. Same way another array that is capital P has a three different characters and starting from 0 to 2. 
so three characters are there inside our pattern capital p and here we will display output and it is nothing but index of every occurrence so let us start our new method to find every occurrence of our pattern inside our large text capital t so as per the concept of a new string matching algorithm uh, we have to compare all the character of pattern with our large text capital t so here in our pattern we have only three character so first three character will compare with first three character of our large text capital t so x will compare with x matching is found y will compare with y matching is found and z will compare with z so this all the characters were found inside our large text capital t it means that string or we can say the pattern is available inside the large text capital t so we have to just write first occurrence of our string as a output so pattern found at index 0 it means that our first occurrence of pattern inside the large text capital T is from index number 0 there may be a multiple occurrence of pattern inside the text so that we have to check another all the occurrence and for that we have to just shift our pattern by 1 once we shift our uh, pattern by 1 then again we have to compare the character of pattern with the character of text so we have to compare our second character of our text with first character of pattern so here it is y and here it is x it means that matching is not found so we have to again shift our pattern by 1 so once we shift then we have to check we have to compare third character of text with first character of pattern whether matching is found or not here it is z and here it is x so matching is not found so again we have to perform shift operation once we perform shift operation then we have to compare character a with character x so matching is not found so again we have to perform shift operation now again we have to check whether b is match with capital x or not so again matching is not found so that we have to perform shift operation same way we have to perform shift operation one by one so now when we reach here on index number eight at that time when we compare x with x matching is found y is y with y then matching is found and z with z matching is found it means that the second occurrence is available at index number 8 so pattern found at index number 8 so there may be a chance that there will be another occurrence of a pattern inside the text so we have to shift again our pattern by 1 so shift our pattern by 1 and compare with this uh, character of text so why compare with x no matching is found so again perform shift operation compare z with x matching is not found so perform shift operation compare d with x matching is not found so perform shift operation compare e with x no matching so again perform shift operation compare f with x no matching so perform shift operation same way buff check g with x no matching is found so perform shift operation h with x no matching is found so perform shift operation now x compare x with x so matching is found so a second character we need to compare y with y matching is found z with z matching is found it means that third occurrence of our pattern is on index number 16 so pattern is found at index number 16 so there are a three occurrence of our pattern inside our large text capital t first occurrence at index number 0 second occurrence at index number 8 and third occurrence at index number 16 now when we start to write the algorithm then first step is we need to identify the length of our large text capital t and length of our pattern so here the length of our large text capital t is equal to 19 and the length of pattern is equal to 3 suppose the length of capital t is known as small n 
and is equal to 19 and the length of our pattern P is for example known as M and M is equal to 3. Now we need to check how many times we have to perform shift operation. We have started from 0 and up to the 16. So total 16 shift operation we need to perform. Right? So how we can get 16? So here we can perform operation like 19 minus 3 is equal to 16. So n minus m shift operation is required. And after every shift operation we have to perform comparison comparison of pattern with the text. So maximum how many comparisons required it is depends on the size of our pattern. Here three characters are there then after every shift operation there will be maximum three comparison of pattern with the text. So here two different loop is required. First loop that is the outer loop to perform shift operation and this loop will be executed n minus m time. So outer loop will be executed n minus m time and one another inner loop is required and this inner loop basically used to perform comparison of all the character of pattern with the text and maximum m comparison is required because the length of our pattern is m. So total m time this inner loop will be executed. So let us see the pseudocode of our new method. As per the pseudocode of our new method, first identify the length of pattern, then length of text. As we discussed, we will have our two loop. One is inner loop and second one is outer loop. So outer loop will be executed n minus m time. Inner loop will be executed m times. And inside this inner loop, we need to perform comparison. So outer loop basically used for the shift operation and total n minus m shift operation will be there. After every shift operation, our inner loop basically used to compare pattern with the text and total m number of maximum comparison will be there. When this for loop will be executed m time, it means that pattern is found. So when the value of j is equal equal to m, it means that pattern is found at index number i. Then after we have to check another occurrence of the pattern inside the text and this loop will be executed up to n minus m. So in this way we can find all the occurrence of our pattern uh, inside the large text. Once we think about the time complexity of this algorithm then in worst case this both the loop will be executed outer loop will be n minus m time and inner loop will be m time. So it means that this both the loop will be executed n into m times. So the total time complexity in worst case will be order of m into n. So this is all about how we can compare our pattern with the text or how we can find all the occurrence of pattern inside the large text by using our new method. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video.